The president makes a big appearance in North Dakota to lend his support for the GOP Senate candidate. One America's Luke Lays has more on his visit to the Peace Garden State. President Trump is back in his element, on the campaign trail once again with a rally in North Dakota, home to one of 2018's most pivotal U.S. Senate races. The president received a hearty welcome from the Rough Rider state, where voters overwhelmingly came out in his favor during the 2016 election. I am thrilled to be here in the great state of North Dakota with so many hardworking American patriots. The president's speech centered around his endorsement of North Dakota Congressman Kevin Kramer. The next United States Senator from the great state of North Dakota, Kevin Kramer. Kevin, come out. Is Mr. President, on behalf of all of the thousands of people in this arena and the tens of thousands outside of this arena who live in flyover country, thank you for not forgetting us. President Trump held no punches while slamming the GOP candidate's competition, a Democrat named Heidi Heitkamp, who he claimed is a poor representative of the conservative values of North Dakota. And we need Kevin Kramer to replace liberal Democrat Heidi Heitkamp in the Senate. Got to have it. Got to have it. When Heidi ran for office, she promised to be an independent vote for the people of North Dakota. Instead, she went to Washington and immediately joined Chuck, you know who Chuck is, and Nancy. And now they have a new leader. Who's the new leader? Maxine Waters is their new leader. He went on to address this week's Supreme Court decision to uphold the White House's travel order to protect the nation against visitors from terrorist-related areas and stressed the importance of choosing a worthy replacement for the newly retired Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy. The travel ban ruling underscores just how critical it is to confirm judges who will support our Constitution, our great, great Constitution. We have to pick a great one. We have to pick one that's going to be there for 40 years, 45 years. We need intellect. The president also made a strong case for continued conservative success in the upcoming midterm elections and took a shot at the liberal establishment that stands against the GOP. I hate it. I meet these people. They call them the elite. These people. I look at them. I say, that's elite? We got more money, we got more brains, we got better houses, apartments, we got nicer boats, we're smarter than they are. And they say, the elite, we're the elite, you're the elite. Luke Glaze, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.